Hey, what's happening? What's up? It's for EB. I, what I want to talk about today is the whole Occupy America uh, protest, which I'm about to go downtown. And when I do, if there's anybody still occupying the government center in Minneapolis, I'll shoot a video of me. I'll shoot a video either way. I upload this before I go to downtown Minneapolis. And I'll get another one to y'all later on today. But um, anyway, you know, it was a really, really big thing. I mean, it was all over. They had this zombie hot back in October. Uh, people dressed like zombies and went bar hopping in downtown and they had signs up talking about zombies and eat the bankers, eat the one percent <clears throat> all this and that and the other. Um, basically I think that uh, you should be taxed based on your income because there's a whole lot of other things that we do in life that's based on your income. And based on my income, I can't buy a brand new car. Based on my income, I can't pay my rent sometimes. Based on my income, uh, you know, uh, I have a certain standard of life. You see what I'm saying? You know? So I can go through the whole pay child support thing, and then I pay taxes that fund the government programs that feed my kids and I'm paying them for them twice. And, this is that and the other. I can just suck it up and say, hey, I'm paying for my kids, and that's what I do. Okay, so here this 99% versus this 1% thing. It got me thinking, so I wanted to sit back and, you know, Black Friday rolls around, and everybody's going shopping. Christmas time rolls around, everybody's going shopping. And the calendar of New Year rolls around. Everybody is spending money, especially the 99%. You see, the 1% is corporate America. The 1% are the ones that pull the strings, that tell you what's hot, that tell you which car you should be driving, tell you what pair of jeans you should spend $300 on, tell you what pair of shoes you should spend $275 on. You know, tell you what precious metal to put in your mouth. Tell you the correct way to talk for your generation. And throw you some silly music and dumb you down very quick. So you actually believe you're doing something big by tripping your money off. Five hundred dollar jeans. Um, if nobody in the ninety nine percent did so much as buy a Christmas tree. That would have been the type of thing, that shopping period right there with the time for the Occupy movement. And everybody who says they're standing with them to really take a stand. Because if just even a small percent of people don't spend all their money on their days, you know, that would really impact uh, the pockets of the, of the other people. And it would stimulate the pockets of the people. Really, I don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. But you know, people really don't want to. They don't want to give up anything to gain something. And I do believe that we should be taxed based on our income. I do believe that every community should be socially and economically independent, self-supporting in our country. There's not a reason why it shouldn't be. There is no reason why the store owners in your neighborhood drive miles and miles and miles to come open their store in your neighborhood. There is a time in our communities where we had our own uh, doctors, schools, plumbers, city bus. And I'm not talking about segregate or anything like that. 
because the New York is not segregated. The Chicago is not segregated. And many other places they call Chinatown and, 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 and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's not segregated. That, that there are villages. And America is pretty much villages and villages and villages of a whole spectrum of people. And so we have this, we have the, the lower class in Minneapolis is very diverse that will, they, they will break their bank account at that time of the year, you know, for whatever reason they, they deem to. And I'll tell you, people, unless you guys unite and do everything it takes, for that one purpose, and, and you know, you got to say the ends justify the means. You know what I mean? And ninety-nine percent didn't celebrate them holidays for three years. Three years, no Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I, I don't do Christmas in my life as a miserable. My children, they trickle. We're good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can, we can die. Hey. Everything that they capitalize on for music. Everything that's in their comments. You see what I'm saying? Everything that they're selling. You want to gain the power back. You're going to have to stop doing business with them. And you're really going to have to write your congressman and everybody else you need to talk to. Figure out which candidate will support and this stuff here in the election that's coming up. And, uh, I think taxes should, uh, be separate, but equal. Uh, separate meaning if you make more money, you're going to pay more taxes. You're not going to pay less than me. Because you make more money. That's why. And it's not going to affect your lifestyle. Well, I'm, my check goes to the government, the state and the federal government. Say about 25, 27% of my check goes there. 18 to 25% of my check goes there. If I got, if I got eight or ten of that back, that makes a difference uh, in my life. I'm just saying. Anyway, it's, it's just really funny to me because if you're not gonna put the rubber to the road, you're just blowing a whole lot of hot air. And I don't expect to see anybody talking about occupying that down government center right now. I just don't see what's happening. I ain't heard nothing about anybody occupying the shit since Christmas time from the government. Seems like people got too preoccupied with that. Man, guess who's laughing counting their money? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? I know the truth hurts, but the truth hurts, but it's the best information to put in the head of the profile. Peace out.